I'm Turk Stronger and Theron Q. Ramacharaka. Thank you for selecting this video on illusion, simulation, reality. Before I continue, if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, now's your chance. Activate the notification bell feature at the same time. All right. Share the joy of this channel with others starting now. Give this video a thumb up now. Unless you forget to, to do it later. Illusion. Simulation. In reality. Some people are concerned over the probability that we're living in a simulation of some sort. I'm not sure exactly what sort of simulation, but usually it comes down to some kind of uh, artificial intelligence. Intelligence. At work. And, you know, that goes hand in hand with simulation, doesn't it? <laughs> Uh, like it's a, a program, a computer program running in a mass scale. It affects our consciousness and everything, all right? But how about this? How about this? There's also the matter of, of uh, the illusory nature of the manifested universe. universe of duality, also called by the Hindus, Maya, meaning illusion, the illusory nature of the whole shebang. On a slower, the general bandwidth of vibrations, the, the more illusory. <clears throat> there's that, right? There are other ways to get at the same thing. I had another one in mind, but now I forget. What do you do about that? What do you do? How many layers of illusion and perception, deception might there be? Um, we may think of all matters, however realistic, however misperceived, however just the nature of things. There are three things involved. Consciousness, substance, and motion. Those are always the things, the stuff. How do they manifest? As mathematical formulas, electromagnetic vibrations, and a logic states, in other words, on and off. <clears throat> Conscious substance in motion manifesting as electromagnetic fluctuations, logic states, and mathematical formulas. <sighs> now you can't argue with that. So, yes. Those are what there are, okay? What do we perceive? We don't perceive. We, we sense lazy states, electromagnetic fluctuations and mathematical formulas. No, we don't perceive that. We perceive what it creates. <clears throat> To our experience, in our experience. Now, how simulated might that be? I'm saying it doesn't matter. 
It is the illusion, no matter how it gets that way. But at the bottom of it all, no matter what you say about that, it's conscious substance in motion, manifesting as electromagnetic fluctuations, logic states, and mathematical formulas. It's a good thing to be aware of that. Because that makes it a lot, of, that makes affairs in your experience, your, your take on things in life, to be a lot more lighthearted. It puts you in a position to comprehend and experience that whatever all that is, man, it's entertaining. It's entertaining. I mean, just consider conscious substance in motion manifesting by way of electromagnetic fluctuations, logic states, and mathematical formulas. And, but this is what you see. You know, all of the, everything is behind me. Now that's a big difference. That's a big jump. That's hilarious, man. That is hilarious. <clears throat> but there's also the, the fact that one way or another we are involved in creating it we are also hmm, observers of it and we're also participants in it it's amazing that's funny as hell. How do you get that? <laughs> There's a few basic things that work. Right? That's what it is. Now, there is, it does, again, another reason why it doesn't really matter what the deal is. Because there is a part of you that's unaffected by it. No matter what, it's unaffected by whatever it is. It's just constant. This part of you is not affected, really. And what part is that? <laughs> well, there can only be one. For one thing. <laughs> It's the part that just doesn't change. It's yourself. The I, you know, that's the same I about you as it was 30 years ago about you. And the same goes with me and everybody else. <clears throat> It's always just the same. It's that one part that's constant. That you are referring to if you say I, and then you talk about I back, you know, when I was very six years old, and now that you're 60, I, right? And you're actually making a comparison or something. It's the same I, right? That's the only part that's unaffected. So, this is, like I said, puts us in a position to <laughs> find easy entertainment in this. <laughs> How about this? The drama of life cast upon your screen of consciousness, the screen of consciousness. This part about, this bit about we in some way or another are participating and creating it. Well, that must play a role. There must be that. Because whatever we are accustomed to perceiving, we believe we will continue to perceive. We believe in it. It's what's real, right? It's what's happening. 
So consider the thought form, the mass thought form that there also is. That is the thought form of what we're perceiving. Well, this perpetuates the thing a lot. In fact, it's alive. Well, wait a minute. We already knew that, right? <laughs> well, remember, conscious, substance in motion, conscious. Conscious, substance in motion is what we call life. If we take, if we understand that the universe is alive. So, be aware of all this, all right? Get used to it. Get used to it. Understand that the reason, one, the, the core reason why this is all really entertaining, actually, is because there's conscious substance in motion manifesting by way of electromagnetic fluctuations, logic states, and mathematical formulas. I want to talk about logic states. Why that? I said on and off states. Well, all right. <clears throat> and I'll start off with an example of it in action, that whole principle in action. Let's say you want to focus your attention on something, something. There's an object of attention for you. So you can focus on it. Now, what does that mean to focus on? It means to count out other thought activity. Then your mental focus, your mental attention is being directed to that thing, this object of attention. Like right now. It's just a hypothetical, but run through this with me, all right? <clears throat> so what do you do? You focus on that. And what does that mean? And that means that all other possible objects of attention are being counted out, right? And how do you do that? You focus on the one that's in the on state for you, right? All else is off in your thinking, and as far as your attention goes, that's an example of where it can, of where it shows up. All right, on and off states. What you see right now is in is is on. What about all the other possibilities? They're off right now. If things happen in an orderly sequence. This gives us gives us the appearance of one thing causing the next. There's, there's this continuity of causation, proximal cause, order and sequence. This is just really primary, primitive thought, right? Primitive thinking. We don't need to be physicists to get, you know, we don't have to have a doctorate in physics and 20 years of research to think like this about affairs. It's just kind of stuff. Consciousness, substance, motion, electromagnetic fluctuations, math, and on and off. You don't have to have anything. You don't have to have a degree in it. Just listen to what I'm saying and think about that. Learn it. Get used to it. And watch how entertaining it all turns out to be. That's how you think about it. Simulation. Maya. Illusion. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Not, you know... Structurally, but functionally, it matters because there are certain states of affairs that 
you might want to move beyond. Personally evolve. So, you know, it's important in that way, but but it, it, what I'm saying is it, it's irrelevant what we may characterize the whole experience as a simulation, you know, even layers like an onion, you know, the onion idea, or <clears throat> Maya, illusion, duality, deception, mm. no, whatever, whatever, it's irrelevant. This conscious substance emotion, as I've said a lot of times, it's entertaining. There. Understand it to be what it is. You know what I mean? That's the deal, right? Understand it to be what it is. Alright? There you go. If you liked the video, thumb up. If you didn't give it one at the beginning when I asked you to, do it now anyway just to punish yourself. Share the joy of the channel with others. Subscribe, get notified. Thank you for selecting this video on illusion, simulation, and reality. I'm Turk Strong and the Thronky Ramacharaka. Be well.